Hello friend, my name is David Newby. I'm the author of the book, Why Didn't Anyone Teach Me This? And I'm also the founder of YourProsperityPower.com. I want to talk to you now about um, a very important question that is on a lot of people's minds right now. And that is, what are the best retirement investments for you? Especially in light of the stock market just tumbling by over 40% in 2008. Um, a lot of people are concerned about building their nest egg back up to the size they need in order to retire. And secondly, you may also be wondering when I'm ready to retire, when I'm ready to do something else or move to that next phase of my life, where should I put my money? And even for that matter, where should you put your money now? A lot of people are wondering that. So I want to focus now on the best kind of retirement investments to put your money into. I'm going to start by talking about traditional investments and the limitations of those and some alternatives that you can look at that you're not going to hear a lot about in a traditional uh, media or traditional financial advice. Well, most people tell you when you get to retirement, be more conservative, which is good advice. And the, the problem is a lot of times what your advisors, the trusted advisors recommend you do are things like uh, annuities and CDs. Um, now they are very conservative, but they have three main limitations. I want to go over them now. First of all, oftentimes you need to put a lot of money into these retirement vehicles in order to um, get the best rate of return on them. With annuities and CDs, it's not uncommon to have a 50,000, 100,000 plus minimum requirement to get the best rates of return. Um, so I, I'd rather invest in something where I could earn a nice rate of return, whether I put $30,000 into it or whether I put $300,000 or $3 million into it. So that's uh, one limitation is that you need to have bigger amounts of money in order to get the best rates of return. The second limitation of those investments is that if you want to take some of the money out or all the money out, um, you oftentimes have a pretty stiff uh, early withdrawal penalty and add insult to injury, a lot of times like with annuities, uh, if the market, if it says tied to the stock market, if the market is down, uh, you might earn a 0% rate of return on it. Um, however, if you want to take that money out, you still have to pay your early withdrawal penalty. And a lot of times you're locking up that money for 3 years, 5 years, 8, 10 years um, before you can take it out without the early withdrawal penalty. So that's the second limitation of those uh, investments. And the third one is that um, the third limitation of those kind of investments is that they're very limited in terms of I need a stinker. Big amount of money or withdrawal penalty. And the third limitation of those kind of investments is that traditional retirement investments is that they cause you to need a lot of money to be able to retire. If you're only going to make uh, an average of six, seven, eight percent a year in your annuity, you're going to need, you know, 20 years from now to maintain a hundred thousand dollar a year lifestyle. You're going to need three to four million dollars in those annuities to retire at your current level of living. In a CD, if you're only averaging say five percent between your CDs and your annuities, you might need five or six million dollars to retire at that same hundred thousand dollar lifestyle. That's a lot, a lot of money. So um, if you're like most people, you're not on track to be able to have that much money when you retire. So I want to talk about um, what are some alternatives to those traditional investments that you can look at that are still conservative, that still focus on preservation of capital, which is important when you're retiring, you know, to protect that nest egg and also give you a little bit more control of your situation. I'm going to recommend two conservative things and one for a little, if you're a little bit more of an aggressive, involved investor. Uh, and you're willing to do what I call uh, exercise your risk muscle, which not a lot of investors are willing to do. Um, the first thing is um, look at working with groups who are teams of talented investors. There are groups that, for instance, um, buy covered calls, 
that make as much as 1% a month very, very safely and consistently. In fact, I know of one group that in fourth quarter 2008, when the market was down over 30% overall, they actually made 1.5%. They made about half a percent a month, uh, which is phenomenal. And they've only had three negative months in the last seven years with their technique. So they invest in the stock market very conservatively. Uh, another way that you can um, look at having more control of your retirement investments is look at getting a portfolio of dividend yielding stocks. Um, you may have heard a lot of people talking on different financial um, websites and in, in Wall Street Journal and other um, traditional media outlets about dividend yielding stocks. Um, I think it's very, very important to look at cash flow from dividends and um, that can be a great way to help you get some growth in your portfolio when you retire as well as get some cash flow. So I encourage you to look at getting some uh, dividend yielding stocks and if you're working with the right people you can actually make about a percent a month that same kind of rate of return uh, in a portfolio of dividend yielding stocks. Uh, last but not least if you really want to um, get involved and you're willing to exercise your risk muscles there are actually groups that you can work with that make um, more than you know one percent a month um, pretty safely and conservatively. To give you an example, I know of one private group who invests in commercial real estate who has never lost money on a deal in the last 33 years and their average rate of return has been more than double what the stock market averages. This is a very private group. Obviously not everyone can invest with these people. There are strict criteria to uh, work with someone like that. But the fact of the matter is that you can earn a lot better than five, six, eight percent in an annuity or two, three, four, five percent in a CD safely when you're ready to retire. So I encourage you um, look at the risk of and the limitations of traditional investments. Um, look into some alternatives that can help you create more cash flow for your retirement and help you retire on a lot less money and at the same time maybe even grow your portfolio, provide cash flow to you and leave some inheritance for your heirs and charities that you care about. Uh, you can do it. It just involves thinking a little differently than the masses and uh, I encourage you to remember what Walt Disney said and that is uh, if you want to know something smart to do look at what everybody is doing and do the opposite. So I encourage you to think for yourself with your retirement fund. You'll be very glad that you did. Uh, check out my website for more information and I encourage you uh, until next time leverage all that you've got to get everything that you want. I'll talk to you soon. God bless.